Okay, so how about we get started on this look with this beautiful Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. This was also a gift. Oops. And I'm sure you've seen the palette already probably a million times, but here you go. It's quite pretty. I think you're getting a good idea of the colors. And I have an idea of what I want to do. We'll see if I stick with that idea or not. Um, let me get to the right brush here. So I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and just start with them. Um, I'm just going to start laying down some transition, a transition color. So how are you guys doing with uh, your fuel or your heat source this year? We got hit hard. Okay. So we've been hit kind of hard with the fuel bill. But I think that's pretty much a lot of people this winter, especially in my neck of the woods, because it's just been so cold. Now, for you hooded eye girls, make sure you come above your, your crease and look at yourself straight in the mirror, just to make sure you can still see that color that you just laid down. Uh, because if you can't, then you need to bring it up. Uh, I do have a, an excellent video for hooded eyes that I think I'm going to uh, redo, you know, more to tutorial style. You know, this is more of a get ready with me, so, you know, I'm not really going to give tips um, but there's a, a technique it's called the dome technique and it really is great for hooded eyes and you know who else has really good advice for hooded eyes Alyssa Ashley she's a great uh, she's a big youtuber um, she has some excellent advice on hooded eyes as well as Stephanie Lang she's the one that I watched where I learned the dome technique from You know, we would like to be all be able to do our eyes just like all the, you know, big YouTubers do, but we may not have as much lid space as they do, or they have nice wide open eyes. I have a lot of space from here to here, but you can't see all of it. And now I think I'm going to go in with the color right next to it. That one was Eden, and I'm going into Amber. And I'm going to come down a little bit lower with a different brush. Still a fluffy brush, but a little tighter packed brush. Um, I'm going into Eden and I'm going to come down a little bit. But yeah, I have struggled with my hooded eyes, you know, um, and mine are just like mine are hooded because of an overhang. Um, they've always been like that. A lot of times hooded eyes get worse with age um, and some people just have like um, small close you know um, and they very small eyes and they just don't have a lot of real estate to put their makeup on so it's very hard to follow the traditional youtuber if you want to get that same look because no matter how hard you try it's, it's not going to be exactly the same you're just not going to get it. And it would be nice if we could just all have that same look, but it's just not written in the cards for us. A clean brush and do some blending. We all know how important blending is. And these shades by Huda, these Huda Beauty shades are very nice. They blend easily. I know there was a lot of problems with her original palette, the Rose Gold maybe, is that what it's called? I do not have that palette. I do have the the Bad Habit dupe for it and I'm going to work on a look with that. I'm really going to focus my channel on hooded eyes. 
as far as, you know, when I do a look, I want to, you know, I want to get that to specific crowd to watch my videos and hopefully they can learn a thing or two. Because I really, proportionately, there's not as many YouTubers who are going to discuss hooded eyes. Alright, so now I'm going to take an even smaller, more precise brush. Where are you? Um, I use this brush just to get a little deeper here, and I'm going to use saffron. Don't you want that color? I do, I do. Uh, so are you guys good with that? This one picks up a little powder, but a lot of my favorite shadows kick up powder. I don't worry about it too much. Um, you, you, are you okay with me focusing on hooded eye looks? Did, would you rather see more reviews of products? Being a person who lives on a very tight budget, um, I'm kind of limited, you know, I, don't, I can't go out there and buy every single new palette that comes along, but I can certainly review the things I have. I probably am way late in the game for most of them, but, you know, I want to have my viewers happy with the material content that I put out, and I want you to have a say in what I do. Obviously, I wouldn't have, I mean, I'm so close to a thousand subscribers and I wouldn't have them if I didn't pay attention to what you guys like. So let me know down in the comments what you want to see. Equally as important, what you don't want to see. You know, what, what are you tired of? Me, for one, I don't like and YouTube will tell you that this is one of the ways to grow your channel. But I don't like when everyone and their brother is doing the same challenge video. You know, like everybody's right now, it's not necessarily a challenge video, but uh, everybody's mixing their foundations together and or mixing their concealers together or mixing their primers together and their highlights together. Uh, you know, and I understand that you want your video to pop up with everybody else's. Whoops. A little too low there. But the way the algorithm works, I don't know as though any of us would really show up doing those. I would rather do something that I really enjoy, and maybe that will be a challenge like that. Uh, I am hoping to be able to get, my grandson really wants to do the whisper challenge. And mom said it's okay if I bring him on my channel. So you guys can look forward to that. Don't know when, but you will see it. And if you follow Jen from Jen Loves Reviews, she did an extra great video with, uh, she was, she gave shout outs to 10, uh, maybe, maybe it was 11, but 10, she gave shout outs to 10 channels that were less than 5,000 subscribers. And Hot Mess Mama MD was one of them. And so you should check her channel out and definitely if you're not subscribed to Jen, make sure you do that too because <laughs> Jen's channel is, is awesome. So I get distracted sometimes and I guess you'll have to either learn to love it or my subscription count will go down. I can't do much about it. I like how this is coming together. 
Of course, I only have, you know, to go to the store. <laughs> I'm going to be a little dressed up for that, but you have to film while you have the light. And I wanted to film yesterday, but unfortunately, it was very overcast yesterday, so that was not going to happen. And I'm just going to take another clean blending brush here. Try to clean up my edges. I think I'll go in with this yellow-ish color. So yeah, back to my grandson. He wants to do the Whisper Challenge. If you haven't seen Jimmy Fallon's Whisper Challenges, you really need to check them out because they're pretty hilarious. And also he does a segment, why do I keep saying segment? He does a series where it's like, like a, a theater type thing. I can't remember the something something theater what it is is oh it's mad lives theater and that's hilarious as well he asks the guest for you know just like you play regular mad libs and then they go present it in play form it's it's very funny um and my grandson wants to do the Whisper Challenge after seeing all of that. He thought it was right up there. He is 11 years old and he is definitely likes to do, he's, he's a thespian. <laughs> so I have decided, yes, I'm going to do a cut crease. So my grandson is in Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, I guess you would call it officially and he really enjoys when they put on skits which I'm not surprised because his mother is very theatrical as am I now when I say theatrical it doesn't necessarily mean on the stage theatrical for me yes I was involved in drama from the ninth grade on. At that time they didn't have younger, allow younger auditions. Um, unless it was like when we put on The Sound of Music, of course, they had to have younger children. I'm just using my um, Catrice camouflage to uh, lay down my cut crease here. So I think it'll be a lot of fun to have my grandson on. I hope that you guys will let me know down in the comments if that's something that you would enjoy watching. Like I said, he's 11 and he's very funny. And uh, I think it, it'll be fun to, to have the videos, done, you know, doing the videos with him. Be a little bit of a bonding thing, I will say. Now, if you're going to do a cut crease and you go up a little too much like I did, you can just fix that with shadow and I'll fix it. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to incorporate, try to get myself back up to two videos a week and hopefully be able to have it be beauty content and and other things that you guys would be interested in. I definitely want to do a video with my daughter as well. Because, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree and or we feed off each other so we can be quite hilarious when we want to be. 
packing brush here. And I'm going to put down, first I'm going to put down this purple. Actually, no, I think I'm going to go straight in with retrograde. It's definitely cold here this week. I don't know where you all are from. Obviously, all of you are from different places. Some of you are, are from places that don't get cold. Well, what I would consider cold. Because my daughter lives in LA and she has sweaters and jackets and Ugg boots that she wears during the winter. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's, I guess it's all relative. What you think is cold is may not be what I think is cold. I get cold probably just about anything that drops below 72. And at least inside. But if you go above 72, I'm hot. So I think somebody once told me that if I wanted like a constant temperature like that, I would need to either live in Hawaii or San Diego. Have anybody out there from either of those places? Can you confirm or deny this for me? I have not been to either. The furthest west I've been is Kansas. And I'm getting a little fallout with this. I can feel it, but I can't really see it yet. Now I could just stop there. What a fun would that be? So I won't. Just getting rid of a little bit of fallout. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and top that with Twilight, which is definitely one of my favorite colors. It's, it's a duochrome. I think I'll just put that like in the center. Definitely probably benefit from putting a setting spray on my brush first. You live, you live. That is super pretty. I hope that it's coming off on camera as pretty as it is here. If you can hear my dog, it's a feisty little lasso, well, lasso that has to bark everything and anything that goes by our house. God forbid somebody knocks on the door. She definitely thinks she's a lot bigger than she is. I'm going to use my little wish version of a color switch. I also have my own that I made. And I'm going to pick up just a little bit of this purple color called Amethyst. And I'm going to use that as a kind of a blending color right here. I think this palette is very versatile, although very warm. I mean, if you're not a cool, a warm tone person, then it's not going to be quite as versatile. But for those that really enjoy warm tones, there's a lot of different choices to be made. And I really enjoy that. Okay, I just think I'm going to deepen up my corner and then we will call this look done. There's a nice brown shade called 
O U D. Oud, oud. I would say oud because like out, but what do I know? Just taking that darker shade into the crease. Well, now I know you can hear her. She's nothing, she's like 12 and a half pounds, but she thinks she's like 85 pounds and ready to go. Until you actually get near her. Then she backs off. kind of liken her to the Cowardly Lion. Put him up! Put him up! <laughs> yeah. I am very happy with this look. Very, very happy with it. I think I might zhuzh up the corner corners here. Uh, there's a very pretty color called Nefertiti. And that is going to go in the inner corner. Very pretty. I think I could use this palette every day if I did my makeup every day. Okay, I'm going to do some blending and then we are done. And I always do my mascara off camera because I make the weirdest faces when I'm doing my mascara, and I know a lot of people do, and a lot of people don't care, but I don't know. I do care. I'm so happy with how this look came out, and I'm looking straight on at you. And, well, you're kind of a little higher than I am, but did get a little bit more than a little of glitter follow up. That would be my bad, not the product's bad, because I really probably, I swept it before I patted it down, so I didn't give it much of a chance of staying on my brush. You live, you learn. Alone is taught us that, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna use this ColourPop eyeliner in, it's like a navy blue. I'll put it down in the description bar what it actually is called. Oh, I'm just glittery all over the place. I just really like how blue looks with my blue eyes. Of course, you know, not everybody likes blue eyeliner. But I like the navy blues. So make sure you let me know below what you think of my setup now. I am, like I said, going to be putting some pictures on the wall. But I pretty much think I have my camera set where I want it to be. And I have the lighting comes in. These. So I've got two great windows to help out.
yeah, so I really, really hope that you guys like this look. Let me see if I can get rid of a little bit of this glitter. Decided to go back in with my foundation brush to cover up some of that glitter. I really like this formula and I've been meaning to get some more. And then I'm going to top it with uh, Huda Beauty Metallic Lip Gloss. Because gloss is where it's at. Thankfully. It's a very opaque peachy color. That you could definitely wear on its own. You don't have to use it as a topper, but I happen to know that my husband really enjoys this color and he's a gloss kind of guy. Thank you guys for stopping by to take a look at my channel. If you're coming from Shannon's channel, I'm so glad to have you and I hope you'll stay. Subscribe uh, and make sure you hit that notification button because if you don't, then you may not be aware that I've uploaded a new video. And I hope that you all liked this look and I'm eager to see what Shannon has done with her look. And I will see you all next week. Definitely have one video. Looks like I'll be putting them out on Fridays. We'll see if that works out for me. Uh, and I, Like I said, I was hoping to put out at least two videos a week. That's my goal. And like I said, if you could watch your favorite YouTubers videos to the end, it would really help them out. So until next time, bye now.